Hello and welcome to my video on this Mandalorian Blast Drive book that works. So this is kind of based off the blast you you'd see in the Clone Wars with the Mandalorians holding them, not the Mandalorian TV show. And it was quite a fun thing. It's mainly quite aesthetic because the mechanism isn't that complicated, but I'll show that later in the video. But you can see it's the like kind of big rubberized blaster bit, and you can see that there. And um, so I'll talk a bit more about the design and how it works. So I went with a dark grey and light grey colour scheme as that generally seemed to be how they looked. So I went with this kind of front area that's light grey and all panelled off. And you can see I kind of slipped this in. So generally on a real one, I'll show the image in the top of the corner, it sloped the other way like that. Whereas, But I it just really didn't look very nice so I decided to keep it going up. And I went with this just to make it finish off slightly nicer. And then I decided here to do a bit of like night nice design with these grey plates integrated into the thing and also the top part's grey and this is all on both sides. And I just to cover up the beam slightly I put this part in as well as that grill which secures the handle which the handle is the part I least like. But the design of this, it just doesn't look great in my opinion. You can kind of see the slopes. There's a bit break, like they break up every once in a while. Front bit there, because it has to be this length. And the back, I didn't have enough of these pieces to cover that one. So the like handle is my least favourite part of it. But I do quite like the top with all the tiles. And I do like, the like grey part is really just aesthetic. There's no advantages, as is all of this. But anyway, I'll now go a bit more about like what this can do. So you can now see inside of it and you can see very simply how it works. So you can see at the front there you have your normal thing and the Astro but it's upside down so that the trigger works and where I secured that is by connecting this part there which is very secured to the back of it so that it doesn't like tilt backwards and forwards because if I remove that and you can kind of see that falls off it moves up and down. You can see very easily how this works if I tilt it and just pull the trigger. See it goes there and you can see that's why all of this is hollow because if I were to push the trigger all the way up it really does take up the majority of the space because you can if I pull it there you know it'll work but it also easiest thing to do is to push it up and that works quicker or if I flick it and that would be the quickest way to fire it. Now do a bit of accuracy and split some targets just to show you kind of a rough idea. This isn't more about the blaster, it's more about the mech like this and how accurate it can be and the angles of it. So I'm going to do a quick comparison of these three to show you which one's more powerful so I'll get the target in. I'll start off with a stud shooter. You can see it hit the target and bounced pretty far back but you can see it like the target didn't even move. Probably be the same with the spring loaded shooter. Yeah, you can see they kind of they hit, but then they just go. Whereas with your rubberized one, you can actually knock the target over or like do make it move kind of idea. It is a much more powerful shot. Do hope you have enjoyed this video. I decided to do a slightly different thing by going with like another ideas just as throughout the video because it wouldn't have been a very long video had I just focused on this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.